Ohio is winner yet again as they defeat the visiting Marshall Thundering Herd by a final of 10 to 2 in just six innings. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brad Walker, I'm Logan Duke here for Bobcat TV. And Ohio, who really struggled in last year's matchup with the Thundering Herd, just three hits for a total of two runs, had no trouble with the bats today, Brad. Yeah, definitely a complete whirlwind today. 12 hits for 10 runs, and four out of the nine hitters in Bobcat's lineup went for multi-hit days. So definitely an excellent day for the Bobcat bats. And Brad, obviously Danny Stein was nails yet again inside the circle. Uh, she did have some trouble in the first inning giving up the one run, but overall Danny Stein went four innings pitched, two hits, and only allowed one run. Yeah, as you mentioned in the first inning, a little trouble, and that was to a little bit of communication errors that they had to settle out throughout that first inning. But once she figured that out, she really settled into her groove and just started mowing hitters down. Kendall Meeks came in relief, and she pitched two innings. She gave up just one hit and one run as well as she was just as good in relief. And now the Bobcats were able to put this game away in the sixth inning on a base-clearing triple to make it 10-2, the final. Yeah, Michaela Dorsey came in with bases loaded and hit an absolute shot into the right field gap to end the game. And what a way to, a perfect way to end the game, I should say, for Ohio on a perfect hit for Michaela Dorsey. So Ohio had a 10-game winning streak. It came to an end to Miami, but they come back to the friendly confines of the OSF and gain the W 10-2. They improved to 29 and 14, and we'll look ahead to the rest of their season. For Brad Walker, I'm Logan LaDuke from the home of the Bobcats. We'll see you soon.